I was having trouble getting this tire set on this rim. The width of the tire seems to be, it seemed to be a little tighter than the actual rim width. Um, the size was right. It was a 13 inch rim, 13 inch tire. So um, I, I knew the fit should be fine, um, but I just couldn't get the bead to get set um, for whatever reason. Um, and, and I saw a lot of other videos that were that were using uh, starter fluid or brake fluid, and then they set it on fire or, or lit the fuse and then run. Um, I didn't want to risk myself blowing up, so um, I, I, I played with this uh, a couple different methods. This one seemed to work quite well. Um, and, and basically what I did is I set the bead on the front of the rim um, by, by jumping on it effectively, by having a, 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 the used tire uh, below it to give me a little bit of leverage like a trampoline. Um, so I set the front of the bead real, real well, and then um, then I focus on the back bead. And the way I do that is pulling the rim the rim face up while the the back of the bead kind of kind of slowly seats on the on the on the back of the rim uh, using the weight of the tire. Um, eventually, it catches. Uh, sometimes it takes a, a bit of finagling, and you'll see me do that here in this video as well. Um, but I, I think it works. Um, so you know, interested to see comments and 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 what people think about this. So we're gonna start by removing the valve stem core. This allows us to flow a lot more air through. And I'm gonna set my PSI on uh, my compressor to about 90 PSI. We, you can go a little bit higher, but 90 was a sweet spot for me. Um, you're gonna to wanna to keep this valve stem and the tool handy because uh, towards the end, um, when it's fully inflated, you're going to want to pop this thing in there as soon as possible so you can take your finger off the trigger. So next thing is you want to get this square. I'm using an old tire. Uh, you could build a platform, I guess, but I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm just using the old tire I had, making sure it's centered. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to apply a lot of pressure to get this part sealed, um, the, the front rim sealed around the, the tire bead. Uh, it works pretty well. So um, I'm going to get my compressor fired up, and then I'll take it to the next step where I actually jump it on this to get this thing um, into place. So now I'm going to attach the regulator and just open this thing wide open. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do now is we're going to pull up on this. And as we pull up, so the bead set, you can see around here. The idea is as we pull up slowly, uh, the bead remains set at the top. Um, and then hopefully the, the bottom piece catches. Usually you got to pull up three to five times and it'll, it'll catch. You'll
I said in the video it takes three to five times pulling up uh, to make it seat. Obviously, it took more than that. Um, you, you know, really utilizing that weight of the tire is, is what you're trying to do there. I had to push on the tread a couple times to make sure it, it's it's seated, but um, it, it didn't take but more than than um, you know two or three minutes of, of messing with it. Uh, towards the end, I, sp I sped up the the time so it looks a little bit different. Um, you know, I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else I can expand on. Thanks.